Um, I'm the general manager of the Dubai Heritage Vision and we, have, uh, we are the first project to open doors to the public in the Dubai land development. Okay. Uh, and in terms of Arabian Hotel Investment Conference, are you, are you here to promote that? Or, uh, or, or can you tell us why you're here? Ab absolutely. The, the conference is a, is a forum for us, obviously, to, to spread the good news of, of the development, which is the Al Sahra Desert Resort, um, but specifically also Jumana Secret of the Desert which is an imagistic show that we perform currently five nights a week. Um, five nights being all the nights of the week except a Sunday night and a Monday night. And uh, the show starts at nine o'clock in the evenings. And uh, the hotel audience is very important to us because this is obviously where we draw our guests from at night, um, either through the ground handlers, the local DMCs, um, or alternatively also directly from the hotels. So promoting or having the opportunity then to promote Jumana here at the conference um, is ideal for us. Um, and that is why we are here to show the wares. Fantastic. Has it been fairly successful so far? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the result is only measured afterwards. I think like, like it is in any trade show or at any conference. I always say to the salespeople, it's not the business cards that we collect during the event. It is the follow-up procedure afterwards that is most important to us to then really comment about the fruits of the, the event will probably be premature, um, but that outcome we should be able to measure in the, in the weeks to come immediately after the event. Okay. In, t uh, in terms of the next few events coming up here in Dubai, there's an tra Arabian travel market as well. Are you going to be present at that? To Absolutely. We, we represented at the ATM in, in two ways, in fact. Um, we are part of Datko Hospitality, which is the Jebel Ali International Hotel Group, um, and we will be represented on the Jebel Ali International Hotel Group stand. But we are also um, present on the Dubai Land stand, so it's a two-pronged approach indeed yeah. to the market at the ATM that we have. Good. Could you go into explaining to us what, you know, what your plans are over the next year or two years? Most certainly. Um, I mentioned to you that Jumana, Secret of the Desert, is the mainstay of our development at present. Um, also briefly refer to the fact that we were the first attraction to open doors to the public already on the 1st of November in 2006. So in a great way we've been pioneers in the Dubai land environment. You may or may not be aware that Dubai land officially opens on the 10th of December in 2010. So we'll also see that the remainder of the projects um, will probably in a very quick succession start to open doors in the next 18 months to the 24 month lead on that we then have to the 2010 um, deadline for these projects to all be ready and open doors. Um, for ourselves, um, it'll see us taking us, our development um, into its second phase where we will um, open not, not one, but two hotels, a four-star hotel as well as a five-star hotel. Um, we are in the final throes of getting the, the construction underway, specifically on the four-star hotel that we will kick off with. And then soon after that construction commenced, we will also get the five-star property underway. And as you know, the, the marketing cycle is a, is a good 18-month lead time that we have to consider. So before you know, you'll find us at, at occasions like this, um, promoting our, our two hotels, um, due for opening then um, towards the, the end of 2009, ready for the official opening of Dubai Land in 2010. One of the things on people's minds at the moment is the credit crunch, which is affecting the US and starting to affect Western Europe as well. Have you seen any of that affecting investment here and the building, the future for Dubai Land? We've, we've, not, we've not seen a direct result of that, but obviously we are acutely aware of, of, of these world events, specifically world economic events, that will impact the travel market in particular. Um, we are concerned about it, um, but we've not seen an immediate um, um, effect of that on, on our property, properties as yet. Um, as far as our investment is concerned, um, the investor is the local DATCO group, um, and we go full steam ahead with, with our development. Which is good news. Absolutely. Okay. Is there, is there, uh, yeah, just a final question. So in term, in, within the next uh, three months, uh, what, are there any big announcements you would like to tell uh, your viewers? 
So, well, in the next three months, what happens is obviously Dubai moves into its summer season, which makes it very difficult for us to perform Jumana outdoors. It's an outdoor show that we perform, perform in, an, in an amphitheater. So traditionally, as we've done for the past two seasons, we actually close the doors from the 31st of May until the 1st of October. The big announcement is that we open doors full force again on the 1st of October this year, 2008, with a spectacular opening event. Um, I can't reveal the names yet because it'll be premature, but we will certainly have a couple of international celebrities attending that event, and we shall keep you posted.